not far from the sunny coast only about an hour's drive out and uh it is beautiful it's part of the glasshouse mountains um and we're at mccarthy's lookout which is uh on the way to cancroft Res mary mary cancroft reserve mary cancroft, yeah. reserve and you should see the views i'll show you in a second and it is breathtaking and it's like five minutes from the town uh we're staying at the showgrounds just for two nights then we're going on to kenilworth and it is beautiful up here. It really is. I think the showgrounds are twenty-five dollars a night, power and water. Yep. Um, and they're pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. They're very popular. Yeah. Don't don't park near the gym. <laughs> the no. Gym goes till nine o'clock at night. And Blair, they start at six. And they start at six. <laughs> do, 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 do. But anyway, <laughs> all fun. So here we go. Uh, we'll show you this lookout over the Glasshouse Mountains. It is sensational. So we've come down to Mary Cancross Reserve. Uh, you can have breakfast, lunch and dinner here. There's a restaurant, uh, plenty of parking, and apparently there's a walk, which we're gonna have a look for and go through a bit of a walk and look at the scenery. Good drive down here too. So here we are, we've found the rainforest walk and there's a lot of things to see. Mm -hmm.
so we've come to a little cute little town called Montville uh, not far from where we're staying and beautiful drive over uh, scenery everywhere there's a, um, a lookout uh, not far back uh, over a dam and uh, now we're here in Montville and we're gonna have lunch and have a look around the shops and see if I can buy something for my lovely wife <laughs> So where, where we're having lunch, it's um, got a beautiful deck that has a magnificent view. It does. We've been here before. We have. Mm. But there you go. We'll show you around. So we're about half an hour from Maloney and we've come down to the Badiram Waterfall which is in... what's the name of the bloody... Badiram! <laughs> in Badiram! Badiram! <laughs> anyway... Badiram! That's the name of the place! Bloody good place it is too! So we're about half an hour from Maloney we're at Badiram Waterfalls and what was the name of the reserve? Edna Walling. Edna Walling Reserve. And there's a beautiful waterfall at the end of a precarious path full of trip hazards and rock climbing. Anyway, we'll take you down there so you can have a look. Howdy all, 
Uh, we are here at Dickey Beach Holiday Park. It is a really nice park, all slabs, um, mostly. Uh, we've got a slab. Um, some really good amenities here, and not far from the beach. We're going for a walk in a minute down to the beach. Um, there's no beach views here, but it is pretty good. But over the last three or four days, we've been at Kenilworth uh, at the showgrounds there. That was a really good spot. Um, it was only 25 a night there, wasn't it? Uh, power and water, and uh, really nice uh, town, Kenilworth. It is famous for its one kilo donut and its one kilo sausage roll. <laughs> but we didn't try those, we just had a normal donut, but they were really, really nice. Uh, they have a market every Saturday, which was really, really good. Uh, and the, the main street is one of those, you know, really pretty little town main streets, uh, you know, with their, grouse, sorry? Grouse pub. Yeah, Grouse Pub. Uh, we had a meal there and it was sensational. Uh, but we've been with friends uh, for the last four days, so we didn't do much filming. Um, I put the drone up and had a look around, so we'll show you that. But uh, it was a really good park. Um, if you're going to stay in Kenilworth and uh, have a look at the surrounding area, the showgrounds is uh, one not to miss. It's, uh, it's really good. But here at Dickey Beach, I'll just show you our site. Someone's having a bit of a, bit of a rest in the sun. Well, the sun's gone now. Yeah. And it's on a slab. And the park itself is really, really neat and tidy. And uh, we were greeted very nicely at reception. And uh, everything's so smooth so far. So we'll take you for a walk down the beach and show you around. So we've come out today from Dicky Beach and we're having a look through Malula Bar which is just down from Maruchidor and uh, it is a beautiful spot. We've had lunch here and the main street is uh, full of shops and all sorts of things but the beach, I'll show you, is magnificent. A bit cold for a swim today. Plenty of parking and there are a lot of high rises. And a beautiful park across from all the shops but uh, it is sensational we're just about to go out to a point out the road um, do a bit of droning if we can and uh, show off the rest of Malulaba so come with us So we've come out to the point uh, of Marula Bar, uh, which is called Point Cartwright. Uh, there's a bit of a nature walk and uh, a bit of a, looks like a, a look lighthouse. And a lookout. And a lookout. So Beautiful. we'll take you there. So up here there's a uh, water reservoir that's uh, had murals drawn all over it. It looks really, really nice. I'll show you that in a minute. But the view back to the little bar from here is amazing. It is really cute.
to Brisbane to see some friends that we uh, met while we were travelling around. Um, Ali and Ryan, say hello. And Tim and Connor are not here. They've gone to a boat show down at the Gold Coast. But we've uh, we've um, been shown around by Ali and Ryan, and we're going out to Wellington Point Reserve, which we're here at the moment. And you can walk across to another island at low tide, which is what we're doing right now. Oh, King Island. King Island, yeah. And there's North Stradbroke Island out there somewhere, and uh, Green, Island. Green Island. So we're just going for a walk out here before the tide comes in. And we get stranded. And we get stranded. <laughs> <laughs> then Ryan's going to piggyback us, aren't you, Ryan? So it's a nice point out of here. There's uh, yachts everywhere, and a nice bay. This is right out the uh, the point of the peninsula. Still low tide. A couple of sailing boats going through the middle of it. 